Okay, Clark, a title in Hawaii. First off, how was the experience for you on the island of Oahu? And, and you know, what did you really get out of it? Um, it was a real blessing to have the opportunity um, just to be able to go with the team and, uh, you know, just like experience like it's a lot different than going to any like Northeast tournament where it's all cold and you gotta get all bundled up to go wrestle. But uh, just, uh, just uh, I don't know, just being able to go to Hawaii and, uh, you know, experience all the awesome environment they have there and uh, just uh, let the locals see some college wrestling. Uh, you. Good. So you, you beat both Minnesota guys, Kingsley and Wasnick. Um, Wasnick's ranked in the top 20. That's a win you need, you know, and we don't even know who their starter is going to be now, but you beat both of them. So you kind of got that in your hip pocket. You lose to Thomas of Oregon State, but you end up winning the round robin because you beat both the Minnesota guys who beat everybody else. Um, you know, what's it like winning a tournament title, going to a place that's not close to home, you know, uh, and, and, and winning a title, beating, you know, two top 20 guys like you did. What's that like? How did, what'd that do for your confidence? Um, it was definitely real good. Um, I've been working real hard, you know, just trying to fix little things here and there and just uh, stay, on tack, stay on track. Um, like Coach Cody always says, it's a process, so, you know, just keep getting better every weekend, every turn, every match, you know, and uh, just going out there, wrestling hard, and getting all I got. So it was, it was good to be able to see that pay off. Were you and Ross the only two champs for you guys, or did your 41 win too? No, it was just Ross. You and Ross, okay. When you guys look at how young your team is, you know, you're a sophomore, Ross is a sophomore, and I think he said six freshmen are starting for you guys. No one at such a young team. Um, what does that say about the future? And, and you know, you're this this year and the next two years after that. What's it say about that for you? Um, we're definitely going to keep getting better every year. Um, our guys are just going to the experience is just going to help them grow so much. And, uh, and Coach Cody and all the coaching staff that we have, Coach Cody and Coach Howe and Coach Maple, Coach Leitner, um, just uh, just growing everybody and just uh, perfecting their technique and just growing as a team together and uh, just keep working hard. It's going to be good things going to be coming in the future. Good blessings. Uh, you know, last year you don't qualify for the NCAA tournament. And, you know, Cody's just telling me all the stuff you've, you've won and, you know, you've had so much success in high school. Was it hard coming in and not having the success? And, and you know, not maybe meeting expectations in the first year for you as a starter? Yeah, it was a little disappointing, but like Coach Cody says, it's a process. So, you know, I just kept working, kept my nose to the grindstone, and, uh, you know, just got to keep working. Um, just got, uh, I don't know, I feel like I have a lot more potential to fulfill. Uh, with the wins over the Minnesota guys, um, a mixed bag of results for you, though. You, would you go 4 and 1 on a day or 3 and 1? Um, I saw you wrestling a lot. One. Three and one on a day. Uh, you know, when you get a mixed bag of results and you end up winning the tournament, does that make you feel a little bit better? Uh, yeah, it was good. You know, it just, uh, I mean, just keep learning, keep learning from uh, the competition experiences and uh, what I got to work on to uh, beat everybody in the nation. Goals this year. What do you think? 165. Um, you know, you got the, one of the best guys in the country, the number one guy. He's at your weight in your conference. What do you got to do to challenge a guy like Darren? Uh, just keep working hard, listen to the coaches, you know. Um, just not be afraid. Just go out there and give it all I got. Fight him. Not be, just give uh, not take any, not take no for an answer. When you look at, uh, now you're in LAX right now. Long layover. <laughs> yeah. How disappointing is that after the, the sun and fun of a boy? <laughs> um, not looking forward to going back to the snow, but, uh, it's home now, so it's uh, it, it'd be good to go to sleep tonight when I'm in bed. My own bed. <laughs> you're, you're from Florida. Yes, sir. <laughs> so you went to Norman. Was it culture shock a little bit? <laughs> it's a lot different in a lot of ways, but I really love it there. The people are great. And just uh, I don't know. It's, it's it feels like it feels like my second home now. All right. Yeah, they, well, I'm gonna tell you what they say in Hawaii. Mahalo. <laughs> Thank you for the time. Aloha. <laughs> And uh, hey, enjoy the, uh, the sun and fun in Norman, all right? <laughs> I'll try to. <laughs>